Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone. Thank you for coming back to the channel. And as you can see, we're looking at Shrey. And no joggers, no fashion, no anything. But she may be breaking out something. Because she's been working on this collection for a very, very long time, okay? We need her to put up or to shut up. All right, but Atlanta Black Star did an article on her uh, and her fashion show that she got calling herself coming up with. All right. But Marlo may be right. It just may be a a party. <laughs> sure, we're just trying to party around here and not give us what we need, which is that fashion show. Okay, we need to have fashion. We don't need to not have any fashion. We need fashion. Uh, if we can say that in our difficult voice. We know she had a hard marriage with that nut right there, Whitfield, but somehow she still kept his name. And all her kids are grown. I don't understand that. Most women, when they get divorced and their kids are grown up, they don't want their husband's name. Shrey, you think that man going to leave you some or some girl? Honey, tell us what you think it may be. All right? Then you got this man you called yourself going to marry. Man was in jail. He's a convict, okay? And even Apollo said on the last episode that aired on uh, Sunday um, for y'all, well, not for y'all series, but just that next to the last episode. And he said he was over there with the scammers because every, um, we call it jailhouse or prison has their own little circle or who fit in what particular category and they usually lean on those individuals to help them get through their time all right but like i said we're gonna check your boo america atlanta okay we're gonna make it very specific atlanta from the north south east west we going to check you because this is just too old too outdated and you just making a fool out yourself out here Okay, cause we 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 really ain't me and make made no fool out of. Okay, it's you having to have to face the public when somebody meets you out. Uh, you know when you're out in the streets and going on, they continuously asking you about where is she about your right. But you sitting up here going messing with men that are known cheaters, a convict that you know con plenty of people out their money. I'm like, girl, we don't want you to date. We just want you to grow old gracefully. Have you in a companion somewhere. But we don't want you to get married. And if you can't keep, if you keep picking the wrong people to be with, we don't even want you to be with nobody. We just want you to go and be with your girlfriends, live your life. Because you men are not your forte. Picking men is not your forte. You would have thought you had more time to work on your collection. And like I said, I don't know where all these cute designer pictures are coming from. Is that what we have to look forward to this time, Sheree? Or was this taken some years ago when you first called yourself trying to get into the designing business? Because right now, half of us, okay, not all of us, but half of us want to just basically say, Yo, no design and no having ass. Alaska being stuck with apparel can't keep to Georgia, can't get to Georgia ass down. That's pretty much what we want you to do. You saying your fashions are in Alaska, okay? So now we're going to say sit your 
no design and no clothes having wear to a fashion show that we yet can't get. But you saying we going to check you, boo? No, America's going to check you, boo, and sit your ass down, okay? We're going to eventually say sit your $4 and two cent ass down, girl. You don't have no fashions. You're not a designer. Just keep your mouth shut. How they told Cynthia? I think Kim, uh, Kim, uh, what I Kim, so she told, uh, Cynthia to sit up, and, uh, shut up and look pretty. <laughs> and that's pretty much what we're going to be telling you. Don't talk about your, your brand no more. Cause that was not a brand. That was something stuck in your head that never materialized. Okay. But these people, mm-hmm, you got social media. And such an uproar, girl. You got him in an uproar where Atlanta Black Star had to come out and put an article on you. Now, the person was named Kiara Washington, and she put it out on the 28th of this month. She titled it, Your website still has nothing since the past 10 years. Sheree Whitfield is met with angry fans after telling them to get their credit cards ready for She by Sheree gear. See what I'm saying, Sheree? Girl, they ain't going to even want you on Real Housewives of Atlanta, which I don't think you're going to be able to give them anything because you don't have a man, okay? You don't have a, uh, a line of clothing that you can talk about. Uh, all of it's just fictitious. It's all in your head, baby. But going back to the article, it says Real Housewives of Atlanta star Sheree Whitfield has been teasing her clothing line, She by Sheree, ever since we were first introduced to her in 2008. The 52-year-old fashion designer, okay, has had fans anticipating her joggers set for the past 14 years, but it looks like fans are tired of waiting. See what I'm saying? This whole social media platform is clowning your ass, right? Clowning your ass. Okay, but going back to the article, it said in a recent tweet, Sheree attempted to excite fans by telling them to make sure you have your credit cards ready with the weak um, wink emoji um, and she tagging herself and joggers and all that kind of shit. Okay, instead of the fans showing excitement to her tweet, Sheree was met with exhaustion from fans who had stuck by her side with no joggers to show for it. Okay, Sheree, with all due respect, the credit card I wanted to buy she by Sheree with expired in 2012. <laughs> That was one particular fan, but not such a fan anymore. Another one said, um, Sheree, now look, by the time you have an actual product, we will be making purchases with our foreheads. Whoa. They talking about we're going to be in futuristic type of living, and you still ain't going to be done brought out. No joggers. Okay. Woo. And the next one was, are there going to be actual products? Your website still has nothing since the past 10 years, girl. All right. And the next one says, I hope you're going to have a curvy line since most of your fans base that has been anticipating this for years have now have had children, gotten married, died, etc., etc., etc. Okay, they ain't playing with your ass, Sheree. They mad. They mad because it seems like your storyline always be around designing. But we ain't never saw you picked up a, a paper, a board, or crayons, or some uh, ink and tried to design yourself, honey. No, you're just a host and of something, pretty much. You're not a designer. You can't go up there and draw anything, all right? And we get tired of saying September, spring, fall, summer, winter with no gear to show for it. And I hope you that... Girl, I don't know if that a camisole or, or whatever you got on, but mm, mm, mm. but I did say in my last post uh, that I did on you, you only had these clothes designed for size 2 up to size 6. Now, who the hell going to be wearing your clothes other than models that are this, that thin? But regular everyday folk, you ain't got nothing for us, honey. You ain't think to have anything from a size 2 to a size at least 18. You didn't think about that charade. Girl, the big moments, the big, well, really, I ain't big, because she, like I said, most people are like a 14, 16, okay? And depending on their height, it may be very, very slender. But if you're just going up from two, size two to six, Sheree, you can't even get in a size six, baby. I don't think you can. Okay, but anyway, going back to the article, 
It says, Shiba Sheree has gone through several rebrands or rebrandings. And Sheree Whitfield has opened up in the newest season of Real Housewives of Atlanta about what has held her back from releasing her fashion line. Well, it couldn't have damn been the men because that joker right there was in jail. Couldn't be Bob Whitfield because you're true and grown. Why would y'all be talking anyway? And we know Martell, girl, we know that's a serious joke. And if you really took him serious, then you really need to have your head examined. But going back to the article, it said um, in season 14, episode 7, titled, Who Gonna Check Me? Boo, Whitfield confessed. She by Sheree is kind of a mess. She continued, I've stopped and started She by Sheree. I created a line of accessories like yoga mats and water bottles, but no one has ever seen these things. Yeah, we did see it. We saw that one water bottle, that one mat, yoga mat that you brought when you were coming to Drew thing, but you didn't, was that the prototype? Because Kenya thought she was going to get a souvenir and have something to show people uh, when they may ask her, how's Sheree line coming? But you tried to hurry up and get that one item from Kenya Moore quick, fast, in a hurry, like you didn't have any other bottles or mats or whatever she had that she was giving from Kenya. That was piss poor. That was really piss poor. You're going to spot your shit, but you ain't going to give nobody no time, no place, no area where they can get your merchandise, okay? That is poor business sense, Sheree. Poor business sense. Okay, but going back to the article, it says during the episode, Sheree also gave insight on the steps or the next steps she needed to take in order to finally release her clothing line. The next steps is to find a great business manager to help build my team of strong, diverse women. She by Sheree has been in the works for years. And we keep telling you that, Sheree, but you ain't trying to do nothing about it. Okay, hopefully Sheree can finally give fans what they've been waiting for. Well, I don't know, cause don't it seemed kind of sketchy when um the next to the last scene that they showed us last week that may be happening. Now we know you like getting operated on. You got a little facelift. You was you know very open about that. We appreciate that. Okay, sometimes beauty is skin deep, but sometimes you got to uh you know twerk it and tweak it here and there if you're in the entertainment business. Okay, but Sheree, 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 girl. Either come with the goods or sit your ass down somewhere and be a spectator, okay? Don't say you got this going on, you got that going on. Hell, you should have been a model. You're pretty enough and you're thin enough. That's what you should have, that should have been your claim to fame was modeling. Okay, if Cynthia can do it, you damn sure got the looks, the body, and you definitely can wear those expensive looking clothes, okay? Which you happen to have yourself because you still owe Drew money for the party that you all collaborative uh work together with to um give a party to marlo and kenya and yet you still yes ma'am you still trying to slide out of that obligation go figure go figure sheree but like i said either come with the goods or sit your ass down somewhere be a spectator don't do nothing else don't even open up your mouth about she about sheree but we don't want to hear it. it's it would just be a distant memory if we keep not thinking about it but every time we see you they bringing you back on the show we still intrigued we got curiosity whatever happened did you really expect it not to go nowhere because you've been damn doing a good job because we sure ain't seen shit okay but that's all i got for this video guys y'all like to love it gotta have my heart and thank you thank you thank you thank you for sharing for subscribing for liking even if you hadn't done it, that's a hint to do it, people. To do it. But I will see y'all next video. Bye-bye.